Telc Technologies. So I look after the infrastructure solutions business um, across our region. Um, here at Jitex, Jitex has been buzzing this week. Um, as you can see this morning already, there's a huge uh, number of customers on our stand, a lot of interest. We're in front of our Dell, Dell AI factory wall at the moment, um, and we've actually brought up our infrastructure piece of the wall. AI is changing at pace, and to meet with the demands of generative AI, you need high performance um, infrastructure. So all the way from uh, storage through networking to compute, where we have our 9680, so GPU, eight GPUs per uh, server, um, and then networking the whole way through. So a complete solution from Dell, um, and we can take you through the uh, Dell AI factory, which stakes with data, and we're focused on your business outcomes, which is driven by use cases. But fantastic week here. You know? It has been cr crazy. I think they're looking at breaking record numbers and every year they just seem to be getting busier and busier. Can you take us through how uh, the technology is evolving to meet the growing um, demand of AI? So uh, as we mentioned before, obviously a lot is now GPU focused. So um, the number of parameters that we need to uh, build around an LLM is just exponentially growing every day. Um, and so density becomes a really key thing. And the, the biggest challenge then becomes around data centers. So a traditional data center just cannot cope with technology of the future. So our customers not only need to increase their compute capacity and their investment, but they need to build new data centers. So a traditional rack um, of service might be 10 kilowatts. Now we're talking like the 9680, um, that's like 11 kilowatts per server. We can get four of those in a rack, so 44 kilowatts. Um, anything beyond that, then you get into cooling issues. Uh, so you've seen the announcement, we at Dow announced our 9680L, which is liquid cooled. So that allows us to get 10 um, servers into a rack, which would be 80 GPUs. Um, so the, the whole setup of a data center and the way we configure and design our service is changing. Um, and as I said, cooling is one of the biggest issues. So uh, thermal dynamics um, is one of the most challenging things. And we can proudly say at Dell with our R&D, we're probably in the best place to deliver the most uh, efficient uh, server in the industry. You touched on a very important point. Of course, thermal is probably the largest contributor, not only to the cost of a data center, but also to the environmental factors of the cooling. How is Dell ensuring sustainability is always at the forefront of any technological innovation? So right from our manufacturing process, sustainability is first and foremost. If you look at our service specifically, if you look at our factory in Poland, we use green energy. So even the um, manufacturing process and the power we consume in manufacturing is green. Um, and then we're using recycled components, so from end to end, and then we look at our supply chain as well to ensure that, that we are uh, green the whole way through. So a huge focus for us. And looking a little bit into the future, I mean, you know, I think before when I'd speak to Colos and everyone in this space, they would say, okay, five years, 10 years we're planning for, but I think now we can't even plan for two years. Where do you see the next kind of two years, three years going in this industry? So look, everything's accelerating at pace at the moment. Uh, two years is probably difficult to, to believe. Uh, if we look back 12 months, we wouldn't have um, understood the demand um, and the size of transactions we're doing today. Um, look, and there's so many really cool and interesting companies and providers out there. So as, as we look at the moment, we need to bring our AI to your data. So edge is becoming critically important. And so you then need to have facilities at the edge. So whether they are a prefabricated data center or a mobile data center, um, and then connectivity becomes an issue as well. Um, so we're looking at connectivity via satellite. Now, when would we ever dream of connecting via satellite? So Elon Musk is visionary with uh, Starlink, obviously, but the world is changing at pace. Um, Mohammed Amin, our SVP, we were talking yesterday with some customers, and the statement was, if we think experience is key, it's a rubbish, rubbish statement because we have to learn 
every day and, and continue to develop ourselves, but the industry is changing so quickly. Um, Jitex is a wonderful place to learn, and when you sit down with our customer base, it's really interesting to see the different paths they're on. Some are, are well through the process, um, and they bring, we have a very open ecosystem, um, which is going to be key as we go forward. But some of those conversations are mind blowing. Yeah, you learn so much. Um, and with our open ecosystem at Dell Technologies, we're, we are behind our customers partnering to bring them the latest technology, the latest solutions, uh, the services around it. Um, and then very importantly, to make sure it's secure as well. Um, so yeah, really, really exciting world. I don't know where it's going, yeah? I just am trying to enjoy the ride and learn as much as I can along the way. That makes two of us. I'm so excited. I mean, I've been here for about 11 years in this industry and it still excites me so much today. Um, okay, final question. What excites you the most about 2025? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you <did> one thing. <laughs> uh, so I want to get through 2024 first. Um, and so my mo the thing that excites me most about 2025, our biggest challenge in this region has been licenses for GPUs. So that slowed down a lot of our deployment, but we now have licenses approved. We have um, shipments arriving in region. So I think what I'm most excited about is seeing our customers deploy their technology, uh, get their use cases up and running, and actually see the business outcomes they are driving. Um, I love change and I love outcomes. So I think 2025 is going to be the year of outcomes and I really want to be part of that with our customers. Amazing. Murray, thank you so much for your time. See ya. I thank hope you, you have um, a good, good weekend plans to relax after these five days. Yeah, I, I'm on a high at the moment, so I think we'll probably crash on Saturday morning. But right. thank you for coming by the Dell stand. My pleasure. Thank you.